Yes, that's erupted over a Kashmiri Pandit's death. Let me cut across to those visuals coming in. We're looking at a protest that's just erupted. We're, we're seeing huge police deployment as well. Kashmiri Pandit who was killed. Protests now erupted soon after. We're looking at tear gas being fired at the protesters as the police, the army there, who are trying to control the situation at this moment. Here, visuals coming in from the area where a Kashmiri Pandit was killed. Ashrafani joining us on the phone line. Ash uh, Ashraf, exactly where is this area? Which locality are we seeing here on our television screens? And uh, give us an understanding of what 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 exactly uh, is the demand of those protesters as they've come out uh, angry. Nabila, this is a housing colony which has been uh, created for the. Uh, Kashmiri Pandits, particularly those Kashmiri Pandits who are employed in the Jammu and Kashmir government. This uh, housing uh, complex was built by the uh, UPA government in 2018 when uh, Mufti Mohammed Saeed uh, was the chief minister of Jammu and Kashmir in 2014. And then uh, uh, here, uh, since yesterday evening, all those employees, Kashmiri Pandit employees, who are housing in that particular housing block, were protesting against the brutal killing of the Rahul Bhatt, who was yesterday uh, killed in a terror attack in Chadura in his office. Uh, then uh, uh, yesterday evening they were protesting peacefully inside, but today morning they came out from this housing uh, complex and started uh, pelting stones on the police and security forces, uh, which resulted uh, between these protesting Kashmiri pundits uh, and their families with the Jumad Kashmir police and CRPF. Uh, now the situation has been brought under control after uh, the using of uh, tear gases by the police and CRPF to uh, uh, curb this uh, protest. I spoke to one of the senior police officers that why this force was used by these protesting, against these protesting employees. He's saying that uh, it is a law and order situation. We do not want uh, these Kashmiri pundits to go, go on road where they, there is lot of risk for them also. That is why we did not allow them to come out from the housing colony, uh, which is secure, to outside the town in Badgam. This housing uh, 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 colony is situated in Badgam itself, and it is also worth to mention that Rahul Bhatt, who was killed yesterday, he was also living in the same housing uh, block um, uh, with his family uh, for last many years. So uh, really the anger is visible that uh, all those neighbors of Rahul Bhatt are protesting against the uh, uh, Kashmir government, against the uh, authorities that how this Kashmiri Pandit was killed uh, uh, and there is a lapse of security. Uh, the police is saying that there was not lapse of security, but these uh, protesting Kashmiri Pandit employees are saying that the, uh, 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 there was a lapse of security uh, which resulted the uh, killing of this young uh, employee of Jammu and Kashmir uh, government. Uh, not only here, but in fact yesterday evening we have seen Jammu Srinagar National Highway was also blocked by the protesting Kashmiri Pandit. There are at least eight to nine thousand Kashmiri pundits who are in the Jammu and Kashmir uh, government as employees. They were recruited uh, under special package in 2010 by Manmohan Singh government uh, on the minority quota. They are posted in different places in the Kashmir Valley and are housing in the uh, housing blocks which have been built for these uh, migrant uh, Kashmiri pundit employees across the Kashmir Valley in different districts in Pulwama, in Badagam, as well as in the Anatnag. All right, you know, we are seeing what the visuals that we see here, very unfortunate, uh, the slain Kashmiri Pandit, Rahul, but uh, mortal remains arrive in Jammu for last rites. We're at uh, the backdrop of that. We're seeing huge protests that have broken out. Uh, Ashraf, if you can give us an understanding on how this uh, killing took place. Uh, who are those behind it? Uh, have the police managed to crack them down? Uh, what was the intention? Was this another terror strike? Nabila, basically um, uh, Rahul Bhatt, who was the clerk in the revenue department of Jammu and Kashmir, was posted in Chadura, which is in the Patagam district. He was working in the Tehsildar's office of Chadura with other uh, 30 to 40 government employees in the same office. Yesterday afternoon at about 3.30, uh, two uh, terrorists came inside the premises of the Tehsildar office and specifically uh, shot him uh, in his office. 
he very critically injured. He was shifted to the hospital, then referred to the SMHS hospital, Srinagar, where he succumbed to the injury because the bullet injury was in the chest. And then uh, uh, his uh, mortal remain was uh, 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 was sent to his native home in Jammu yesterday late evening. Uh, and in fact, uh, since uh, that uh, incident, we have seen all those Kashmiri pundits who are residing in the Kashmir Valley, who are working in the Kashmir Valley, protested at different locations, right. including the current location of Barga. Right. Stay with us, Ashraf. We have Gulam Ahmed Mir joining us on the phone line, a Congress leader uh, from uh, the region. Uh, do tell us, sir, here we're looking at protests taking place over uh, the death of Kashmiri Pandit who was murdered, uh, Rahul Bhatt. His mortal remains have arrived in Jammu for last rites. Amid that, we're seeing thousands of Kashmiri Pandits who've come out on the streets uh, protesting, asking for more security. They feel threatened, they feel marginalized, and these killings one after the other of Kashmiri Pandits really, uh, it, it really. Ha it's very difficult for them to forget what's happened to them, the atrocities over the years, and they even till date feel threatened to this extent. How is the Congress Party really helping them feel secure in that region? Uh, first of all, it is a matter of concern that uh, one after another the cases are happening in Kashmir Valley, whether they, are, they belong to uh, Kashmiri Pandits or any other community, the selective targets are being fulfilled by the terrorists and uh, Congress party uh, already on record that uh, central government is claiming that everything is okay after abrogation and downgrading of state. But uh, you are all witness that... Uh, uh, Bindru was killed, that Sardarni was killed, and so many other laborers were killed selectively. And now this Rahul uh, Panta yesterday, uh, the way he was killed in his office is a matter of concern for all of us. On one side, the government of India, state government claiming that um, peace is restoring, now normal is uh, on the ground. But on the other side, these cases expose their uh, internal um, situation and uh, especially the Kashmiri Pandit uh, families, they are apprehensive of their lives and uh, you have seen uh, for la uh, from last uh, evening, everywhere is on roads. I think Centre must take uh, concrete steps to safeguard these Kashmiri Pandit other communities as well as the civilians. This is the responsibility of the government to safeguard the, to provide security to these civilians who are residing in the uh, state. All right, Mr. Veer, thank you very much for joining us with those details. We also have a Kashmiri Pandit joining us on the phone line, Utpal Kaul. Uh, uh, Utpal, very tragic what we see here. Kashmiri Pandit uh, Rahul Bhatt was murdered brutally. Uh, it seems like the community, even till date, after years of struggle, do not feel secure in your own home. It is totally a tragedy for the Kashmiri Pandit community that the genocide which the jihadis and Pakistani terrorists with the support of some uh, Kashmiris uh, from 90 is going on and it has not stopped. And we tried our best and we thought that now uh, what happened in 90, uh, it, is, uh, it won't happen again. But now we have seen for last two years, they have killed nearly 14 uh, uh, Kashmiri pundits. They don't want Kashmiri pundits uh, to settle down in Kashmir. They want to make it an Islamic state. So uh, we will challenge them, we'll make it sure that this genocide must finish, but we appeal to government of India. We appeal to uh, government of Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir to come forward and uh, uh, make it sure that Kashmiri Pandas in Kashmir feel secure in their own homeland. But if they don't, they are. It is a tragedy that they are. They have been posted in far-flung areas. Even the ladies have been uh, posted in far-flung areas and where they, they have no avenues, where they have no security. Government for 10 years uh, is not giving them any accommodation. Uh, so uh, they should feel secure if they have to serve in Kashmir. Otherwise, they should uh, be called to 
Jammu. So that because lives are very important. They are doing uh, selective killings of Kashmiri Pandals, these uh, jihadi terrorists. Well, you know, uh, very tragic. Uh, we're looking at Kashmiri Pandits, uh, largely, who've come out in protest. Uh, they, they're, of course, angry and upset that even years after their struggle, uh, even till date, despite all that military presence and security, it seems like the community is being targeted. Uh, terrorism there prevails even till date. Areas where Kashmiri Pandits are living, still not secure. The police, the army who are trying to uh, fire tear gas shells only to disperse crowds because protesters, of course, turned violent as they're angry, they're upset. Now, wife of slain Kashmir Pandit uh, speaks to India today. In fact, the wife of the slain Pandit narrates a horrific ordeal. She says he didn't feel safe in Badgam and requested a transfer. Further says that people from his office conspired with terrorists. That's her claim. Let's have a listen. मुझे पता ही है जब राहुल बट वहाँ 2010 में काम करने गए तब से अब तक कभी उन्होंने आपसे कहा कि उनको कोई डर लगता है भैया वो पहले इधर बड़गाम तहसील ऑफिस में थे वहाँ पे कभी उनको कुछ लगा ही नहीं डीसी को इन्होंने दस बहुत बारी बोला बोला कि मेरे को ट्रांसफर उधर नहीं लेनी वो दूर है चारडूरा बहुत दूर है बड़गाम से हम तो शेखपुरा में रहते हैं वहाँ से बहुत दूर है वो उसने पता नहीं कौन सी इज्जत निकाली उसने दो साल से उसकी ट्रांसफर ही नहीं की वापस वहाँ से डी सी बड़गाम ने और ए ने जो नया ए है उसने पहले भी बोला था उनको कि मेरे को यहाँ से थोड़ा डीसी ऑफिस लाओ जब पिछली बार उसके वो जो दो मारे थे टीचर्स तब हम फिर आए थे मैंने इसको बोला था हम नहीं जाएंगे मगर उसने नहीं माना बोला मेरे को ड्यूटी जाना है उन दिनों भी उनको बोला था इनको डी ऑफिस में ही रखो वहाँ तब भी सेफ्टी है इधर एक गार्ड नहीं था इसको बाहर भैया कितने लोग उसके पास आते थे सर के ऊपर से लोग होते थे कोई सुरक्षा नहीं थी कोई कुछ भी नहीं एच ऑफिस साथ है कोई एक गार्ड नहीं था बाहर जो चेक करता इनके पास रिवॉल्वर थी तीन बंदे थे क्या सुनने में आया तीन बंदे थे तीन बंदों के पीछे पूछा राहुल भट्ट कौन है नाम नाम पूछ के गोली शूट की है उस अपनी चेयर पे बैठा था अपनी ही चेयर पे शूट किया उसको भैया हिलने का भी मौका नहीं दिया उसके पास लोग बहुत आते थे All right, that's uh, the wife of the slain Kashmiri Pandit who was murdered brutally. In fact, she says that he, he requested for a transfer from Badgam, but uh, officials failed to hear his pleas. Uh, he, and he did feel insecure. He, he often mentioned to his wife that he does not want to stay there, but yet it seemed like there was no respite. He was working for the government. Very unfortunate, this man eventually was murdered. He was a victim to a, to a terror attack. Now we're looking at Kashmiri Pandit community in large numbers who've come out of the streets to protest. Police there trying to contain the situation. In fact, such large numbers who have stepped out. Uh, it is a residential colony where Kashmiri Pandits reside. And that colony we're seeing Kashmiri Pandits in large numbers who've stepped out to try to, to in fact express their anger, their frustration, their, uh, their fear. And clearly this protest has turned violent to a point where the police and the military now forcing to use tear gas shells to try and quell the situation. Here are the visuals coming in live from the areas, the protest areas. Very unfortunate demise. In fact, the slain Kashmiri Pandit Rahul Bhatt's mortal remains have just arrived in Jammu for last rites. Sunil Ji Bhatt as well joining us on uh, live for more on that. Uh, Sunil, very tragic. We, the, it's very, very heart-wrenching to see the wife of the slain Kashmiri Pandit. Un inconsolable. She seems to be very upset. She also says that uh, Rahul Bhatt had constantly request for a transfer. He, he requested for a transfer. He wasn't feeling safe in the area that he was. And, and she further goes on to say that some of his colleagues may have trans, uh, may have uh, tried to uh, uh, target her husband by conspiring with terrorists. These are her claims. Will this be taken on record? <laughs> Well, Nabila, it's not just Rahul Bhatt's family, but uh, the Kashmiri Pandit employees who are serving in the Kashmir Valley. They have been saying it time and again that they are not feeling safe in the Kashmir Valley and they should be transferred to Jammu and to other safer areas. But the administration is not taking any decision in their favor. The administration is saying that they have to serve in the Kashmir Valley because in 2010, there was a special uh, recruitment uh, package that was announced by the then UPA government. And as per that policy, uh, hundreds of 
Kashmiri Pandit youth went to the Kashmir Valley and they took up government jobs. But now, uh, in last two years, the Kashmiri Pandit youth is not feeling safe because targeted killings have taken place of the members of the minority communities. And they have been saying it time and again that there is no adequate security and that is why they should be transferred to Jammu. But so far, no decision has been taken as far as the issue of their transfer is concerned. Uh, yesterday also, a, a young Kashmiri Pandit, Rahul Bhatt, was targeted by the terrorists in central Kashmir's uh, Badgam district's Chadura Tehsil and uh, he was assassinated by the terrorists. The terrorists uh, directly went to his office and he was shot dead while he was working in his office. So this killing has sent shock waves across the country and the Kashmiri Pandit community is feeling uh, very angry at this point of time and that is why we are seeing that protests are taking place across the country. Even in the Kashmir Valley, the handful of Kashmiri Pandits, the government employees who are working there, even they have mustered courage, they have hit the streets and they are staging protests against the government. Slogans are being raised against the Modi government and people are saying that the Modi government has totally failed in providing security to the Kashmiri Pandit community. The people have been saying that uh, uh, that government is totally indifferent towards the plight of the Kashmiri Pandits, whether in the Kashmir Valley or in the rest of the country. The government is doing not enough to mitigate the sufferings of the Kashmiri Pandit community. Here you can see that uh, uh, inconsolable family of, uh, um, of uh, Rahul Bhatt. Relatives have gathered here. They are expressing their solidarity with the bereaved family. You can see the mother of Rahul Bhatt, who we, are, who we will try and get a word from her. We will try and speak to her. Uh, the family is in deep pain. We can understand. Mata ji, hum samaj sakte hain is samay aap bahut pida mein hain. Hamari samvedna hai aapke saath hai. Jis prakar se Rahul Bhatt ki hatya ki kya lagta hai aapko ki is samay Kashmiri Pandit samuday ke liye kya mahol wahan thik nahi hai? So, uh, Nabila, you can totally understand that the family is inconsolable and they are not in a position to talk right now. But earlier we spoke to wife of Rahul Bhatt as well as uh, we spoke to father of uh, Rahul Bhatt and both of them clearly said that the government is uh, totally indifferent towards the community, towards the plight of the Kashmiri Pandits and they are demanding that enough is enough, their patience is running out. The Kashmiri Pandit community is saying that their patience is running out. The government has been making tall claims and all these claims are proving to be hollow because nothing concrete is happening on ground. Here you can see that angry slogans are being raised. The family is very angry, the relatives and the Kashmiri Pandit community members in general are expressing their anger. They are venting out their anger against the government. They are saying that the government has been trying to portray a rosy picture of the Kashmir Valley but the reality is something different. The reality on ground is that the Kashmiri Pandit community is not safe uh, in the Kashmir Valley. They are being targeted uh, regularly and in the recent past also we have seen that how members of the minuscule minority of Kashmir that is Kashmiri Pandit has been targeted and members of the Kashmiri Pandit community are feeling insecure in the Kashmir Valley. The family is in deep mourning. The relatives are here. They are expressing their solidarity with the breed family but uh, one I'm, thing I'm going to hold to you there just for a moment. I'm going to take some reactions uh, with regards to politicians who have jumped into this because uh, this, this has certainly become a political flashpoint as well. Kashmiri pundits uh, increasingly feeling insecure, unsafe. Overnight protests where they've come out on the streets, uh, sat on the roads, blocked roads, uh, demanding some safety and also accusing the central government of failing them, saying that they've, fe they've felt insecure for ages in that uh, region. They've not been able to, they've not rehabilitated the Kashmiri Pandits, uh, they've been requesting for transfers, but that has not been uh, dealt with. Let's take a listen what politicians have to say on this. Kashmiri Pandit Samaj ne ek apna hon har nojawan khoya hai. Swabhavik hai logu mein bhoat gussa hai. Jin parijanu ne apne blood relation mein apne rishtedar ko apne parivar ke sadasya ko khoya hai. Yakinan unko gussa hai. Ye Pakistan ke जो कायर आतंकवादियों ने घटना की है इसके विरुद्ध पूरे जम्मू कश्मीर में पूरे हिंदुस्तान में गुस्सा है इन सभी कायर पाकिस्तानी आतंकवादियों को जमीन के पाताल से निकाल निकाल कर इनको मौत के घाट उतारेंगे किसी पाकिस्तानी को किसी दहशतगर्द को नहीं बख्शेंगे 32 साल से जो ये चल रहा है 
और 2008 के बाद जो पीएम पैकेज सरकार ने दिया था उसके अंडर दैट पैकेज बहुत सारे एम्प्लॉयज बिकॉज ऑफ लाइवलीहुड वहाँ पे चले गए थे बट उनको टारगेटेड किलिंग कर दिया गया है जा रहा है डे बाई डे और जो गजवा हिंद जो और ये जो टेरिस रेजिस्टेंट फोर्स जो भी अभी टी जिसको बोलते हैं एक एक करके उन्होंने थ्रेट दिया है कि कश्मीरी हिंदू को हम मारेंगे यहाँ पे हम कश्मीरी हिंदू को नहीं रहने देंगे यहाँ पे इंडिया हम बसने नहीं देंगे तो गवर्नमेंट को इसका संज्ञान लेना चाहिए और गवर्नमेंट को पूरा सोचना चाहिए कि गवर्नमेंट ने स्केप कैसे बना लिया कश्मीरी हिंदू को कश्मीरी हिंदू जो कि इतनी माइनॉरिटी कम्युनिटी है मॉटल रिमेन्स ऑफ कश्मीरी पंडित राहुल बट हैव बीन ब्रॉट टू जम्मू राहुल बट वॉज एसैसिनेटेड बाई द टेरिस्ट इन सेंट्रल कश्मीर बडगाम डिस्ट्रिक्ट यस्टरडे हिज मॉटल रिमेन्स हैव नॉट बीन ब्रॉट टू जम्मू एंड ही विल बी क्रिमिएटेड शॉर्टली राहुल बट फैमिली हैड टू फ्ली कश्मीर इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी Uh, and then they took shelter in jammu they lived in various parts of jammu but in 2010 rahul but as part of prime minister's special uh, recruitment drive he applied for that and he got a job in central kashmir's badgam district he returned to kashmir and he was staying in badgam he was uh, working at the tehsildar's office in chadura he was working honestly and dedicatedly but terrorists targeted him and he was assassinated by the terrorists in central kashmir's badgam district yesterday here at the cremation ground you can see that large number of people have gathered here they are here to uh, pay homage uh, to the son of the soil they are here to pay homage to uh, rahul but who was a brave human being and he had gone to kashmir in 2010 despite uh, the terror threats and he was working there serving the people of the valley but his presence was like an eye sore for the terrorists and that is why he was targeted the terrorists are sending out uh, their message they are sending out their message loud and clear that they don't want presence of the kashmiri pandits in the all right we we have sunil ji but to give us a little more clarity on that uh, sunil ji but here we see that protesters have managed to block roads they were they've been in sit down protests overnight in fact candlelit marches were carried out over the last uh, day or two ever since this uh, killing took place and uh, we understand that the grouse and anger is is coming from years of feeling insecure in that region uh, many of them in fact have we believe have raised slogans against prime minister narendra modi against home minister amit shah saying that they have failed to secure kashmiri pandits in the valley Absolutely, Nabila. The people have been. उन्होंने मुझे उसे कॉल ले लिया मुझे उसी उसी से चीज़ कल से ऐसे क्या चल रहे हैं हर जगह पे आपको प्रोत्साहन मिल रहा है इसका आपको लगता है सारे आपके साथ हैं आप अकेले नहीं हो अकेले तो कोई है मेरा ही कोई हो मेरे साथ है एक साथ से कोई नहीं है कोई नहीं है मेरा वही था बस ये जो सुनते हैं आप Sunil Ji, but who's reporting live from the spot? Uh, Sunil, yeah, you were you were saying about the anger and uh, the trauma that the Kashmiri pundits are currently feeling, uh, and it's it's evident that they're traumatized, they feel insecure. And Rahul Butt, who was barely 36, working in the Kashmir Valley, uh, he in fact took up a job uh, with much confidence, assuming that he will feel secure at least now because there's military presence. Uh, at this point the the community itself who were about uh, i think living in those areas about 4000 5000 kashmiri pandit uh, uh, families who are living in transit camps have all come out of the streets demanding more security uh, give us a sense of their emotion now Absolutely, Nabila. As I said, that the Kashmiri Pandit community right now is in deep pain, as well as they are very angry. That is why we are seeing protests taking place both in Kashmir Valley as well as in Jammu region. And Nabila, if I can just uh, just ask our producers there in Delhi if they can run uh, the exclusive conversation with the wife of Minakshi Butt. I spoke to her exclusively, and she said that time and again uh, Rahul Butt had been pleading with the local authorities that he should be transferred to a safer area in the district headquarters in Badgam. 
but his pleas went to deaf ears. The administration did not take a favorable decision. And finally, Rahul Bhatt had to pay a heavy price. He had to, he was assassinated by terrorists. And they are blaming the local administration, that the local administration did not pay heed to his pleas. He was saying that he was feeling insecure. There was not adequate security for him in Chadura. He wanted to be shifted to district headquarters, Badgam, and he was assassinated by the terrorists. Right now, the Kashmiri Pandit community across the globe uh, is very angry. Protests are being staged across, uh, the, uh, across the world right now in many parts of um, in America also. Uh, I am getting reports that Kashmiri Pandit community are are taking to the streets they are lodging their protests and the demand from the community is that how long they are going to suffer like this because they are facing indifferent attitude of the successive governments and even the current dispensation doesn't seem to be serious as far as their problems are concerned people want uh, justice people want that uh, the government employees belonging to the Kashmiri Pandit community who are serving in the Kashmir Valley they should be brought back to Jammu they should be uh, brought to Jammu and they should be uh, transferred here because in the Kashmir Valley, they are not safe, they are being targeted, they are soft targets for the terrorists and they are blaming government that the government is somehow trying to make them scapegoats, they are trying to use them as cannon fodder in order to present a rosy picture of Kashmir Valley because the time and again we have seen that statements are being made within the parliament by the ministers that so many Kashmiri Pandits have returned after the abrogation of Article 370 but the fact of the matter is not a single family has been uh, rehabilitated in the Kashmir Valley, only uh, the government employees have gone on there yeah. and uh, they were recruited under a special uh, package which was introduced by the then UPA government in 2010. People right. want that all you those know, employees who were so taken to Kashmir We, we have some information when it comes to the intelligence report. Please do stay with us. We have a big uh, development coming in here. Intelligence agencies have now issued an alert on the nefarious conspiracy on the security forces in Jammu and Kashmir. The copy of the alert now is with India today. Terrorists plan to target security forces. This is an Intel report with, which India today has accessed. We're looking at a conspiracy to target Jammu and Kashmir security forces as per the intelligence report which India today has accessed. In, in the Intel report over movement of three terrorists in Bandipur. It also says that there is a nefarious plan to target the Jammu and Kashmir police force. Arvind Oja joining us live for more on that. Uh, Oja ji, here Jammu and Kashmir mein Kashmiri Pandit ke dihant hua hai, uh, unka murder hua hai. Uh, here par intelligence uh, report keh raha hai ki Kashmiri Pandit, uh, 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 apart from the murder, apart from them being targeted, here par police ke upar bhi kuch ek conspiracy chal uh, chal raha hai. Ye aap clarity dijiye please. जी बिल्कुल देखिए इंडिया टुडे ने ये इंटेल रिपोर्ट एक्सेस किया है और इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसियों ने अलर्ट किया है कि जम्मू कश्मीर में जो सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस हैं सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस की जो गाड़ियां हैं और टिकट्स हैं उनको जो टेररिस्ट है वो टारगेट कर सकते हैं और इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसियों ने तीन जो टेररिस्ट है जिसमें दो फॉरेन टेररिस्ट है जो पाकिस्तान के टेररिस्ट है और एक लोकल टेररिस्ट इनको दस मई और तीन तीस अप्रैल ये दो तारीख ऐसी है जिनको बांदीपुरा इलाके में ट्रैक किया है और एजेंसियों ने खुलासा किया है कि ये सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस को टारगेट कर सकते हैं इसलिए जम्मू कश्मीर पुलिस को अलर्ट रहने के लिए कहा गया है और इसमें पूरी तरह से ये खुलासा किया गया है स्पेसिफिक ये अलर्ट है और अलर्ट की कॉपी भी इंडिया टूडे के पास है जिसमें बताया कि किस तरीके से पीओके से जो दो पाकिस्तानी टेररिस्ट जिनके साथ एक लोकल टेररिस्ट है वो लगातार बांदीपुरा इलाके में मौजूद है और लोकेशन चेंज कर रहे हैं और इनके निशाने पर जो सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस है वो है तो लगातार जम्मू कश्मीर में टारगेट किलिंग भी की जा रही है और इन सब के बीच सिक्योरिटी एजेंसी ने ये अलर्ट जारी किया है और कहा है कि जो टेररिस्ट है तीन टेररिस्ट की मूवमेंट ट्रैक की गई है जो सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस और उनकी गाड़ियों पर अटैक करने की फिराक में इसे जो जम्मू कश्मीर पुलिस है वो अपनी सुरक्षा बढ़ाए Thank you very much, Arvind, for joining us with those details. Now, clearly, we're looking at the Kashmiri Pandit community, very frustrated, who are within the valley asking for rehabilitation. Uh, many of them raising slogans against the BJP government, saying that they failed them, failed to secure them. Uh, we're looking at intelligence report that also speaks of a conspiracy now that could be carried out against security forces in Jammu and Kashmir. Our top focus right here on India Today.